Welcome everyone to the University of Evansville, located in Evansville, Indiana, which is in the southwestern part of the state and smack dab on the Ohio River. This private university offers more than 75 undergraduate and graduate majors where students are empowered to think critically, act bravely, serve responsibly, and live meaningfully in a changing world. This is done through a personalized approach to education that includes hands-on opportunities beginning your freshman year. The campus is infused with innovation and change-making and also offers one of the most impressive study abroad opportunities in the entire country. In fact, it has been ranked the number one study abroad program in America. That is incredible. I'm your host, Alex Boylan, and over the next half hour, we're gonna travel around this quaint campus to meet real current students and recent graduates of UE. UE helps prepare them for their careers and for fulfilling lives after graduation. These students and alumni are passionate and excited to share their university with you. So get ready for a unique episode as we explore the Midwest and abroad. Welcome to the University of Evansville. This is the College Tour. Let's get to it. We're gonna head over to meet Lauren. She's gonna to talk to us about Tin City, which is the country's only ongoing on-campus archeological dig site right here on UE's campus. Lauren is a senior majoring in archeology span and she's gonna share with us the amazing program at UE and how hands-on experience makes an Evansville education one of the best in the nation. Take it away, Lauren. Thanks, Alex. I've always been one for adventure, and after finding a love for travel and history by traveling to Peru, Spain, and Morocco, I fell in love with archaeology. With fewer than 20 archaeology programs in the U.S., I knew UE was right for me. At UE, I'm able to learn from award-winning and internationally recognized professors. One of my favorite parts about UE and our department is how close we are. My classmates and I study together and have become like family. My professors know me by name and genuinely want to see me thrive. I've been able to complete two internships with a local archaeology firm. I've begun to build my career before I even graduate. I also have had the opportunity to work on the only ongoing excavation on any U.S. college or university campus at UE's dig site, Tin City. Tin City was a site of housing following World War II built for veterans enrolled at the university. Through this program, I've been able to learn about the legal, theoretical, and methodological aspects of the field by doing a real dig. The internships in Tin City Dig have greatly broadened my education through hands-on learning. Many of my peers have also participated in the excavation and research of the Jezreel expedition in Israel. Because my professors allow students to take leading roles in these projects, something often reserved for students pursuing a master's or PhD, UE students receive experience that many undergrad students would not. At UE, I've been able to fast track my time here to graduate in three years. I was able to gain the necessary skills and a wide network of peers that will secure my future while finding friendships that will last a lifetime. That's all about me. Back to you, Alex. Lauren, you are an absolute rock star. The real world experiences students can get at UE are truly impressive. Thank you for showing us a genuine archeological dig site right here on UE's campus and telling us about the incredible opportunities students have access to. That was absolutely amazing. Great job. Okay, everyone, let's head to downtown Evansville to meet Robert. He is majoring in ethics and social change and is gonna to talk to us about being a UE change maker, not just on campus, but in the city of Evansville. This city is a community that cares and one that you can truly make a difference in. Okay, Robert, it's all yours. Thanks, Alex. Hi, everyone. The city of Evansville is a vibrant city located right here on our very own Ohio River. We have an absolutely amazing river walk and our main street is talked full of local restaurants and shops. And while there's certainly plenty to do here in Evansville as Indiana's third largest city, my passion is for change making and for making this city a better place. You see, Evansville truly is a collaborative community that's just small enough that you can not only meet the mayor but bounce ideas off of him and whoever else to impact change. I worked with both the city and the university in order to create an innovative downtown stormwater park to help clean our Ohio River. 
through change making, I've not only been able to continue to work on my project with full support from both the city and the university, but earn college credit in my very own customized Change Lab course right here on the University of Evansville. With creative spaces like our Change Lab Incubator and professors from all practices so involved in our change making, our campus truly is a home for the creative and change seeking. With classes dedicated to understanding ethics and social change and the core ingredients needed for innovation, I always feel prepared to take on my next big change making project. I've worked with UE as a student and the city as a citizen, all while using our Change Forward campus as a home base to garner all the support I need to help clean the Ohio River that we call ours right here in Evansville. And thanks to UE, I know that no matter what city I'm in, I'll always be on the lookout for the next challenge that needs changing. Back to you, Alex. Robert. Thank you for sharing your change-making inspiration with us. I can't wait to hear what amazing projects you have in store that will truly change the world. A big congrats on all your work and future accomplishments. Thanks again, Robert. Are you ready to take a trip to England? Well, you can as a UE student. Let's talk about it with Bree, who just graduated with a degree in communications. She's gonna tell us all about Harlickson College, the University of Evansville Study Abroad Center located in Grantham, England, which is just 90 minutes from London. Students can spend a full semester or a summer living and learning at Harlickson. It's a magnificent manor house located in the English countryside. Take it away, Bree. Thanks for the intro, Alex. I fell in love with filmmaking during high school and decided to pursue it as my college degree through UE's communication program. I was able to combine my passion for filmmaking with my desire to travel, giving me an education well tailored to my interests. My first experience traveling outside of the country came with an opportunity to travel with UE's Habitat for Humanity group to Guatemala. I traveled with our team for nine days, filming everything from interviews with locals to the build to the surrounding landscape. After a semester-long edit, the doc premiered on campus to a group of students and faculty. Later that summer, the film won a student Emmy. I was also able to travel to Harlickson College, which is UE's study abroad center in England. Harlickson is consistently ranked as one of the best study abroad programs in the nation and has a 50-year history of sending students abroad to live and study in this historic manor house. Over my semester at Harlickson, I traveled to seven different countries, took a video course, filmed a documentary over the history of the manor, and directed and lensed a 30-minute short film. Europe is a cinematographer's dreamland, so of course I had my camera with me everywhere. Over this semester, I accumulated imagery from my travels and wrapped up both of my short films before heading back stateside. Film school was a big consideration for me, but I was able to hone my craft sharper with a degree in communications from UE. I was able to accumulate hours on set, pursue passion projects, and utilize high quality resources to further realize my dream of becoming a director of photography. That's a wrap. Back to you, Alex. Wow, Marie, that is a transformative experience that you will remember for a lifetime. By the way, I want to go. It's remarkable that you were able to study abroad and integrate your multimedia experience all while creating positive change. Very impressive. Thanks again, Bray. All right, everyone, let's hear from Arthur. He's a sophomore who is majoring in sports communications. He's gonna share how starting as a freshman, he was able to already be on ESPN as a commentator for a Division I university. Let's go Aces. Take it away, Arthur. Hey everyone, I'm so excited to talk to you about the sports programs at the University of Evansville. The Purple Aces play at the Division I level and are members of the Missouri Valley Conference. The MVC, or the Valley as we like to say, is one of the top mid-major conferences in the country. Growing up, it was my dream to be on ESPN. I came to UE for the sports communication major, but I also got an opportunity to be a part of the Fellow Scholars Program, which allows underrepresented students like myself to attend tuition free. At UE, students and staff broadcast ACES home sporting events on the Valley on ESPN, which is prominently featured on ESPN Plus and ESPN3. This gives students the opportunity to direct, produce, and announce games. As a freshman, I jumped in 
and was able to be a part of the Purple Aces production crew. This gave me a chance to see what goes on behind the scenes and on camera. Evansville currently competes in 17 varsity sports at the Division I level. Being located in Indiana, we are most known for our basketball programs. Our men have won five national championships, while our women have competed in multiple Division I NCAA tournaments. While basketball is a huge deal on campus, each of our other sports have endured a great level of success. In the last year, we have won conference championships in women's golf and track and field, while our other sports have built a strong foundation for an amazing future. I believe what surprised me the most was that I was able to come in my freshman year, be on screen, and commentate it. The program is truly top notch, and I am very excited for the future. Back to you, Alex. Thanks, Arthur, for sharing your story. It is amazing the opportunities that UE is able to offer their students. That was fantastic. Take care. Now let's hear from Kristen at the Stone Family Center for Health Sciences in downtown Evansville. The Stone Center, a multi-institutional facility specifically designed to create an academic experience that inspires the students to develop a collaborative approach to healthcare, which will prepare them better to serve the healthcare needs of the future. Kristen is currently in her third and final year here and will graduate in just a few months as a doctor of physical therapy. Take it away. Almost, Dr. Kristen. Thanks, Alex. When I was a senior, I applied to about a dozen colleges, all with a direct entry physical therapy program. When I heard that at UE, I would have the opportunity to curate my undergraduate degree, study abroad, learn from exceptionally acclaimed clinicians, study in a leading edge facility, I was sold. UE met matched and exceeded my hopes and aspirations. I pursued a degree in interdisciplinary studies with a focus in Spanish and exercise science. This merge of my passions has continued to remain present in our physical therapy programs, free outpatient physical therapy clinic, ACE Care. This clinic has an interdisciplinary approach and includes students of many graduate and undergraduate majors, as well as includes Spanish speaking students so that we can talk directly with our patients to provide the best and most comfortable care. The best part, this clinic is entirely free to our patients, run by student led volunteers and the only of its kind across the country. UE provides many pathways for healthcare careers. You can choose from several undergraduate degrees with direct entry, including nursing. UE has strong undergraduate degrees in biology, chemistry, and exercise science, which prepare students for graduate programs offered at UE and everything from medical and vet school. My UE experience has been exceptional. This university has not only set me up for success, but has encouraged me to seek growth, change, and excellence in all that I do. Back to you, Alex. Thank you, Kristen. It is amazing to hear about all the opportunities for majors in the health sciences from undergraduate through doctorate programs. The educational opportunities at UE really open up a lot of doors. Great job, Kristen. Up next is Katie, who is a senior majoring in biology with direct entry into the physician assistant program at UE. She's gonna tell us how UE students get to work on research projects in their freshman year, and how experiences empower students, create opportunities to impact careers, and can really shape your future. Take it away, Katie. Thanks for the introduction, Alex. When college decision making was approaching in high school, I had a difficult time finding a school that stuck out to me above the rest. Since my hometown is a short drive from UE, I scheduled a visit as a practice college tour, never expecting to one day live, study, and grow here at the University of Evansville. My aspirations for medicine came from my relationship with my handicapped brother. I wasn't sure of my path when I first came to UE, but it was my time and experiences here that really revealed which career was best for me. One of those experiences in particular was undergraduate research. In the biology department, our faculty are passionate about research and lead projects for students to participate in. There are many different opportunities offered in our native plant garden, greenhouse, and labs inside Cook Center. 
The unique projects give students a better understanding of science, as well as a competitive edge when applying to jobs or graduate school programs. At UE, science-focused majors get to work in the lab starting freshman year. In one of my classes, we took on a research project involving bacteriophage, or viruses that infect bacteria. Each of us took soil samples throughout the Evansville area, then isolated unique phage species from the samples to catalog and publish on a national database. Through this project, I realized my passion for research, which led me to taking an upper-level elective the next semester to continue it. This experience early in my college career allowed me to explore different avenues in science and choose to become a physician assistant. Looking back, I'm thankful for my practice tour that caused me to fall in love with this place. Back to you, Alex. Katie, it's inspiring to hear about your passion for medicine and how UE's opportunities really fuel that for you. This is definitely something that benefits students for years to come. Nicely done. Take care, Katie. All right, everyone, are you ready to meet David? He's a junior majoring in theater. He's gonna meet us in the Shanklin Theater to talk about the renowned theater program at UE. For nearly 50 years, UE productions have garnered recognition and awards on a local, regional, and national level. Okay, David, the show is all yours. Break a leg. Thanks, Alex. Growing up, I always had a myriad of things I wanted to do. I went from wanting to be an astronaut to a Supreme Court justice to finally deciding on majoring in theater in college. The theater program at UE is one of the top programs in the country. Theater students at UE all have exceptional talent and are the best at what we do. My classmates challenge and nurture me, which means that everyone just ends up getting better and better. This intense theater training and classroom rigor allows us to put on six productions a year. Our theater artists are empowered to go out in the world and make a difference through their art. Community outreach initiatives like our traveling Shakespeare troupe, Rogue and Peasant Aces, showcase our commitment to enriching the greater Evansville area with world-class theater. I was born in Nigeria and moved to Houston, Texas at six years old. My parents instilled in me values of excellence, kindness, and leadership. UE shares these same values and appreciates and welcomes people from all over the world. There's a thriving international community on campus and students here are so accepting. My time here has only bolstered my commitment to telling stories that change hearts and minds. Regardless of your major, UE is an amazing place to be. Come join us. Who knows, maybe you'll even come out of here another Oscar winner like UE Theater's very own Rami Malek. Back to you, Alex. Wow, six productions a year, that is so impressive. I've also seen the star-studded list of Emmy and Oscar winners, along with the many on and off camera talent throughout the country. Theater alumni from UE can be found everywhere. Thanks for that, David. Okay, next let's head over to Ridgeway University Center to meet Will. He's a junior majoring in music education. Yes, he has quite a course load between his classes at the Music Conservatory and student teaching, but he has so much energy and passion for UE. He still is engaged in student life and won RA of the year last year. Will, we're ready to hear about your experience at UE. Take it away. Thanks, Alex. The University of Evansville is well known as a prestigious school, but what really surprised me was how affordable it was. And from the minute I stepped on campus, I knew that this was my home. Now, I'm a music education major, so first, let's talk about music here at UE. My experience with the UE Music Conservatory first began when I was a senior in high school. I started taking private lessons and was immediately greeted by all the faculty. It really made me feel like family. Since then, I've had so many opportunities to grow as a musician, from small five-member ensembles to an entire symphony orchestra. I get the experience to hone my skills in an open, welcoming environment without fear of judgment. And best of all, I've made friendships that'll last me a lifetime. Now, when it comes to education, UE does it better than anyone else. From my first week of classes as a freshman, I got involved with the local school system. I got hands-on experience with students K through 12 from all different backgrounds, better allowing for me to prepare for my future teaching career. I also get the chance to meet new incoming educators through our Education Ambassadors Program, a program specifically designed to introduce prospective students to our campus 
and welcome new students to their home away from home. I also get the chance to be a resident assistant, allowing me to practice those highly valued interpersonal skills. College decisions can be stressful, and it may take years to find your dream school. It may be daunting, but when you make your decision, UE is here to welcome you home. Back to you, Alex. Well, great job. The variety of experiences available to students on this campus is so impressive. It sounds like no matter what your interests are, UE has something for everyone. Cheers, Will. Okay, now we're gonna hear from Justin. He's a junior majoring in mechanical engineering, and he's gonna tell us about the real world projects that engineering students can get involved with through all four years of their undergraduate experience. Wait until you hear about the internships and hands-on learning that is accessible for engineering students at UE. Okay, Justin, you're up. Thanks, Alex. What's up, everyone? Coming from a small Illinois high school with a graduating class of only 100 students, I knew it was important to me entering the college search. I was looking for a university that could offer me a tight-knit, caring community, and that's exactly what I found at UE. Within just a few weeks into my first semester, I was placed on a project team with other mechanical engineering students where we worked closely with a faculty advisor to explore real, practical engineering methods. The project required us to create thorough design sketches, mathematical analyses, and detailed CAD models to satisfy the project objectives. We ended up with a fully functioning tennis ball launcher, utilizing only surgical tubing, an air cylinder, and common construction materials. This early exposure to an in-depth example of the engineering process has equipped me with skills that I have carried with me throughout my coursework here at UE. This includes my senior-led engineering project, where we are performing unique research on our thermosiphon device to present data at the National Conference for Undergraduate Research. Another more recent and exciting engineering project on our campus is the Walnut Streetscape. A few years ago, the city of Evansville announced the project on a street that runs directly through our campus. The design featured five new pedestrian crosswalks, raised speed tables, upgraded signage, upgraded lighting, and a pedestrian plaza. This project has been completed and it is a huge improvement on our campus. I couldn't be more grateful to have selected such an amazing university to grow me as both a student and a future engineer. Back to you, Alex. That was fantastic, Justin. Thanks for telling us about those great projects. We appreciate you being part of the college tour and sharing your experiences here at UE. Take care. Next, we have Ellen at the Schrader School of Business. She's a senior majoring in business management. I'm pretty excited for you to hear about Ellen's exceptional experiences at UE and how the many opportunities to get involved on campus can grow leadership skills and even lead to being a CEO while you're still a student. Take it away, Ellen. Hey, Alex. I'm so excited to have you here at UE. I grew up with three older sisters who all attended college. One of my sisters attended UE. As soon as I stepped on campus, I knew I would once call it home too. The Schrader School of Business is AACSB accredited, which is impressive since only 5% of business schools in the world receive this accreditation. UE equips students through hands-on work and real experiences. Also, every business student completes at least one internship during their time here on campus. One of my favorite parts of the business school is the exclusive opportunities. For example, this year, I'll be able to test my management skills by serving as the CEO of Embrace, which is a student-created and led for-profit marketing agency. I have developed my leadership abilities through a highly competitive program called Lead Forward. Lead Forward works with students to develop core leadership abilities, engage business leaders, and impact the community. Lastly, I love that I've been able to combine my social experiences and academics by joining a professional business fraternity called Delta Sigma Pi. For the last three years, I have served as an admission ambassador, giving personal tours to high school students. As you can see, I'm heavily involved on campus, and so many students here are. That's why UE was recognized in 2020 by the Wall Street Journal's annual U.S. College Rankings for Student Engagement, placing just 16th in the nation among over 4,000 other four-year colleges and universities. UE has not only prepared me for my career, but how to be successful in life. 
I have gained confidence and courage during my time here, and I know I'll have the right tools to conquer whatever comes my way. What's next, Alex? Thank you, Ellen, for letting us know about all these amazing opportunities. Imagine being as busy as you are and having fun doing it. Great job, Miss CEO. Take care. And that's a wrap on the University of Evansville. A huge thanks to the amazing students who shared their personal stories with us. You all are so inspiring. It's great to hear about the incredible opportunities available to students at UE beginning their freshman year. From real world problem solving to hands-on projects to living in a hundred room Victorian manor house, the experience is anything you could imagine and more. I love the small campus vibe here. It makes me feel right at home. So please check out their website and schedule your own personal college tour. And hopefully we'll see you on campus real soon. But before we go, someone just stopped by to say hi to everyone. This is Ace Purple, the mascot of University of Evansville. Hopefully you'll get to meet him when you come to campus. Cheers, everybody.